Greetings everyone, in this video, I will guide you through the process of completing the enumeration section of the CTF challenge for the EJPT certification. Let's dive in. For the first flag, it mentions a Samba share that allows anonymous access. However, I will address this flag at the end of the video, as it involves creating a custom script. For now, let's move on to the second flag. The second hint states that one of the standby users has a weak password, and their private share named after their username is vulnerable. To tackle this, I will use a well-known script called Enum for Linux, designed to enumerate Samba and SMB services on both Linux and Windows systems. Running the script reveals several users, Josh, Bob, Nancy, and Alice. Now, to brute force these users' credentials, I will use the Metasploit framework. First, we need to create a file listing the usernames we just found. Once the user file and password file are ready, I will configure the parameters and run the module. As you can see, there are many failed attempts initially, so I will disable verbose output for a cleaner log. Shortly after, we successfully find the credentials for Josh. Let's log in using these credentials and inspect the associated share while the brute forcing continues in the background. And there it is, the second flag. We can now download it. By extracting its contents, we retrieve the flag. How did I identify that the share was named after the user? The hint provided explicitly mentions that the private share shares the same name as the username. That clue guided me to locate the correct share. The third hint suggests using the information gathered from the previous flag. Specifically, it points us toward an FTP service. To find the service, we need to perform an all port scan. Once the scan completes, we identify an open FTP port. Now, let's confirm if anonymous access is enabled on this FTP server. Upon testing, anonymous access seems to be restricted, however, the message on the FTP server mentions a weak password for Alice. We can use Hydra to brute force her password. With Alice's credentials, we have the ability to access the FTP server and retrieve the third flag. The final hint warns unauthorized users and mentions a specific service. After some investigation, I return to the initial map scan results. We successfully uncover the fourth and final flag. Finally, let's address the first flag. This requires enumerating shares and identifying which ones allow anonymous access. INE has provided a word list of potential share names, 
which we will use to create a custom script. Here is a quick overview of the script. The script loops through the word list of share names. It uses the SMB client command to test each share for anonymous access. If anonymous access is allowed, it reports the share name. After saving the script, I will grant it execution permissions and run it. The script identifies a share with anonymous access, allowing us to retrieve the first flag. And that wraps up this walkthrough. I hope this video was helpful, and I will see you in the next one.